Hello, my name's John and welcome to this, the 21st painting tutorial for Warlord Games Epic Scale Napoleonics. In this one we'll be having a look at these lovely chaps, the uh, French Voltigers. So straight in, um, gone with the uh, black primer, white dry brush, tidied up the black and white bits and then I've put in the uh, Games Workshop's Cadian Flash Tone. Games Workshop's Contrast Wildwood for the muskets. Games Workshop's Macrag Blue for the uh, jacket, obviously. For the great coats um, and the great coat rolls, as the case may be, I've gone with uh, Games Workshop's Celestra Grey or Contrast snakeskin leather. I think that uh, makes quite a nice colour and apparently the uh, Volties were given lighter coats than the uh, line infantry. Games Workshop's uh, Gore Grunt of Fur for the backpacks. We can do some of the hair as well, get some of that out of the way. A variety of shades for trousers. I've gone with uh, Games Workshop's Mournfang Brown and Morgast Bone and the white trousers will just uh, touch up later and you can also of course use the brown for a bit more hair and the um, bayonet scabbards where visible. Vallejo's London Grey for the spats which doesn't want to focus. Come on, you know you want to. So now they've had a dip in the old uh, Agrax Earthshade so it's time to tidy them up again. So I've done a couple of stages at this point. I've done the uh, Games Workshop white scar, tidy up for the uh, white on the trousers and the jackets and cuffs and what have you. Uh, Castell and green for the uh, the visible water bottles. Lead belcher silver for the bayonets, rifling and what have you. And I did notice I'd completely missed the uh, covered caps as well. So of course more more ghost bone and steel legion drab or any of the greys you want to play with for those. So here we are on the plumes and epaulets and collars, and I've gone with the obscenely bright Games Workshop's Phalanx, or Phalanx Yellow. Games Workshop's Evil Sun Scarlet for the uh, cuffs, and a little bit on the uh, front of the hat there, and the bottom of the plume, on some of them, because there's so many variations on this uniform, it's just bizarre. So to finish up, I've done uh, little golden brass bits with Vallejo's Brass, my all-time favourite at the moment. Don't know how well this will show up if it comes in close, but absolutely loving this guy with his white tash. 